Hey everybody, this is Paul. Today I'm going to show you another property of logarithms. Uh, this is a really simple property, but it's important to know. So anyway, it looks like this. You have logarithm base n of n is equal to 1. So anytime your base of your logarithm matches the value in the argument, then the answer is equal to 1. So that means that log base 3 of 3 equals 1, log base 10 of 10 equals 1, or even the natural log of e equals 1. Because remember, the natural log is just another way to write log base e. So natural log of e is equal to log base e of e. The base matches the argument, and that equals 1. So those are some quick examples. It's pretty simple, but now I want to kind of explain this on the graph to show you exactly what this means. So by saying that our base matches our argument and it gives us a corresponding value of 1, that means that y equals log base n of x, this line right here, that means when we go over x units, in this case it's n for this property, so we're going over x or n units in the x direction. That means that we're going to get a corresponding y value of 1. So we just go up parallel to the y axis in this point right here, traveling back parallel to the x axis now, means this point is equal to 1. So for log base n of n, the corresponding y value is equal to 1. So that's how to look at it graphically. So for instance, if this was log base 3 of x, then that means you would have to go over 3 units to get a corresponding y value of 1. So anyway, this is a really important property. It's pretty simple, but I just wanted to show you guys because uh, it's important to know, and I uh, wanted to show you guys graphically so you could kind of see what it actually means. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have an excellent day, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.